So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to yet again another unboxing. This time, it's not the same phone as the Express 3. This is the Samsung Galaxy Express Prime. So this is the more, you know, higher end of those two devices. It's not a high end phone, it's still a budget device, but we're gonna find out what it comes with. So let's open this Go phone up here. You can see Android Marshmallow 6.0, up to 16 gigabytes internal storage so this is a 16 gig phone the last one was an 8 gig so that's a nice upgrade here 128 gigabytes expandable card sold separately 5 inch hd meaning 720p super amoled screen here so that's going to be a pretty nice touch 5 megapixel autofocus camera with a rear facing flash 2 megapixel megapixel 2 megapixels front facing cameras so let's go ahead and rip the back of this guy off real quickly so I do like these newer boxes here that the Go phones come out with because before they were just, you know, they were just absolutely horrendous here for the Go phone. So let's rip this guy out and see what we do get inside the box here of the Express Prime here, 4G LTE Go phone. And uh, let's go in here. So you can see there is the first look of the phone. It's a pretty dark phone. So let me go ahead and show you if I can get a better camera angle. Let me put the light a little closer to that. You can see it says Express Prime down there. This is a really dark phone from the back, but uh, let's pull this guy off. You can hear that right there. And it uh, feels very similar to, you know, Samsung Galaxy S3 days and stuff like that. But inside the box, you do get your battery. And we'll see what kind of battery this is here for the Express Prime. Let's see what kind of battery we got here, guys. Oh, looks like we have a 2600 milliamp hour battery here that's going to be pretty beastly for a phone of this size um and an exynos processor in here but we'll talk more about the processor and all of that in the full review but let's go ahead and boot this guy up while we look at what else comes in the box here of the express prime so the first boot here we go and we can see samsung galaxy we don't see any express we just see samsung galaxy powered by android so that's a clean nice touch in my opinion here so in the box you do get this little white tab with who knows what that is and a typical samsung charger that they've been using for years like we've been saying in past videos so let's put that down you can see you do get your quick start guide you get some user guides from at&t you get some marketing stuff gimmicks to get you to buy more crap and then you have a start here guide that is compatible with these phones. So you can see that we are at the welcome screen. Let me get this guy booted up and we'll come right back here in a second. All right, everybody, so we're in the device and you can see that we do have a 720p screen here. It looks pretty nice. First impressions of the device so far is that it feels like one of the older, cheaper Samsung devices, but with the more modern, sleek software that you see on things like the Samsung Galaxy S7 here. And this one looks a little more closer to the GS7, in my opinion, than the Express 3 that we had the other day. Let's go into settings and confirm that we are running Android version here, 6.0.1 Marshmallow. But we're going to get into more of all this stuff in the full review of this guy. So anyways, that was an unboxing of the Galaxy uh, Express Prime here. It is a pretty dark color. It's like a dark gray. And um, you can see we have the camera there, but pretty much, you know, another budget Samsung device. We are going to be putting this through its full review paces. You know how it goes around these parts if you've been watching the channel for a while. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel so you can see more fun technology videos over here from uh, my channel, Nick Ackerman, Everything Tech. So if you guys want to um, let me know any features you guys want to see in the review, please go ahead and drop those in the comment section down below of this video. So I could try to get to those before we, you know, start the review and uh, catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.